Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and it's time for some more Save Decay 2 in the Lethal Zone. Today, we're going to be moving into Lundergaard Lumber Mill. And yes, it's true. Um, yeah, I am now officially full time. So I guess you guys are the boss now. I'm working for you guys now. Uh, I guess you could say there was a change in manner, change in management. My boss is, she's really sad about it. She's like, um, everyone is giving her her goodbyes and everything. It's a, uh, you know, a, a definitely an emotional moment because, like, I, people liked her. She was, she was the, the boss. She was tough. She ran a tough business, but she also was very fair. Like, you know, if you had problems, uh, if you needed a ride, as long as you were willing to work with her, she would work with you, so... Sad, sad to see it go this way. And over very petty things, too. Like, her boss, um... They just had an ego issue with one another. And, um... Her boss originally wasn't her boss. She just became her boss. Originally, they were both equals. And once she got promoted, that was kind of the beginning of the end. But, um... You know, I'm not here to depress you guys. Yeah, you'll probably see that ad a few times. I, I understand it'll get a little more. It's, it's like it's like three minutes long, so just like jump forward a little bit if you've already seen it. But um, I'll probably do it for the next ten to fifteen videos because, like I said, not everybody watches every episode. Let's go ahead and get started, though. Step one is getting us a nice. Here we go. Yeah. How's that look? I want to make sure it says lumber. I kind of want to get the lumber in there, actually. There we go. Get a little bit of the lumber. I think that's a good idea. Let, let's get some more of the building and a little bit of the mountains in the background. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. Okay. Also, we got to get another screenshot, too. Look, we got to take selfies. Like, you know, you know how Fox is. Fox is really vain. You know, he's like, it comes with being the fox. You know how it goes. We gotta we, we gotta also take a picture of the church because it's probably gonna be nighttime by the time I claim the church, and I'm not gonna wanna wait until daytime. So we're gonna go grab that as well. But first, let's go ahead and move in. Base here. Well, I see a giant mass, but also a potential base. Training videos are done. Let's go ahead and move in. Wait, let me read it first. So Lundegard Lumber Mill, potential home site, a huge roofed open space where we could build whatever we want. Comes with unlimited materials. Um, it is an eight-man base with 3,500 influence, so it is another humongous base. Let's go ahead and move in, though. Yeah, and yeah, it's tied with uh, the fire department as the two largest bases. Uh, when this base came out, or when this map came out, remember, this was not an original map. If, you, if you've come to play more recently, it's important to know that this was actually a DLC map, right? And because it was a DLC map, there was a time when this wasn't part of the game. So the whole idea of there being two maximum size bases was a little different for State of Decay 2. Not different for State of Decay 1, though. Only different for State of Decay 2 because State of Decay 1 actually had multiple massive bases. You know what? I have a feeling that we're just going to have to... Um... Oh, I was hoping I wouldn't run out of... I, hope... I was hoping I wouldn't get fatigued. Might not matter. Maybe I... We're going to use up a little bit of stamina, but I, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, look at... You're the law in this town, right? Right here. Can you convince them to stop threatening me every time I walk past their... Yeah, house? yeah. Would you guys, like, not talk when I'm doing, like, way more important things? I got to wait for the dialogue to pass. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be our screenshot for, um... The church. I'm not going to claim it right now, though, because I want to have a full episode dedicated. That, that way, you know, because some people are going to watch that specific. And basically, if you wonder why I designed the episodes that way, it's because I know that some people are going to watch specific episodes to see a specific thing. And if I, I want to make sure that I save the taking of the of it all for that episode. So let's head back to base. And then we can actually start taking a look at what we've got available to us. And then we can also begin building the base and then probably excavating some of these ruined plague arts. That'd probably be a pretty good idea. 
Okay, we're home. Nobody following me. I wasn't sure if this guy was going to be tired or not, but, you know, what can you do? I kind of want to keep using him, though, so I'm probably going to take a, a coffee. Coffee time. All right, so let's see what we got. So this base is almost cleaned up right off the bat. Our built-ins include this humongous... Oh, the saw. this isn't a storage. I thought it was a storage. Okay, we'll talk about that later. So over here we've got um, a standard storage room. So let's start upgrading that immediately. Over here we've got, you know, our level 3 command. I still can't believe we never got a... Whatever, let's just install one of those in there. Um, we have this over here, a pile of lumber that's cl clearable. This prepackaged pile of lumber will make excellent building materials once we've sorted them out. Uh, it's going to give us 10 building materials, which is like, what, like two rucksacks? I mean, I guess that's... I guess that's okay. Let's start dismantling it. Also, you know, it is blocking us from acquiring our all of our facilities. So, you know, that's not good. And, um, oh, well, well, let's look at this later. I want I want everything to clear out before we actually do any shenanigans. So, let's go over and... This thing needs to go. You know, you know what's going to happen. It's going to cause an accident, you know. I don't want to have any workplace incidents, so to speak. So we're just going to go ahead and explode them real quick. Now the good news is that we've got plenty of play guards. Although they were infesting the town, now they're not. And if they're not infesting the town, that means that they are nothing more than flesh bag treasure chests, essentially. Probably not going to be able to loot this one. Yeah. Very annoying. That is the feral right there. I can I recognize the sound of his voice. Very important that you get the hang of the voice of a feral. Especially the breathing. Even if he doesn't make like a, uh, you know, an audible, like if, if he just breathes hard, you should just know what that sounds like, to be totally honest. Focus on the big one. Oh, looks like he's... So much for easily looting this. Like I said, sometimes it's harder to actually loot these than actually destroy them. No exaggeration. All right, the feral has fallen. Can't do it. Yeah. Now we can finally take all of this. Holy crap. Took some effort to clean that out, but... Oh, here's a juggernaut. Not who I want to see. Seems he's kind of derping out a little bit. Not before he banged up my car, though. Wow. They really, they really made me work for that play guard. And on top of that, we took like a lot of damage to the vehicle. I guess they're like, welcome to Lundegard. Okay, so it looks like the dismantle is done. That's good news. Let's throw this in. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We were working on that too, weren't we? All right, so here's what we're looking at. This base is rather curious because it has not one or two or three or even four. It has five large facilities. And the first thing I'm going to do is build a staging area because we're going to need to build things quicker. Um, I'm going to build a... We need a workshop. And I don't have a red talent, right? Yeah, no red talent. Uh, I might even build an officer's quarters temporarily. Because I have a feeling this is going to require a lot of work to construct. Um, we're definitely going to build a workshop. We'll build it right here. Who's our current leader? A builder. Um, really? Our current leader is a build. No, our current leader is a sheriff. Okay, I'm going to want a lounge. There's no way we're not going to have a lounge. We got to... We got to think strategically of how we want to handle some of these. Um, I better not let that feral charge me. I feel like Okay, if you're wondering what this does. So here's the sawmill. Creates materials if we have power. 
there's a lifetime supply of logs on the site we can use for this purpose. So what it does is, if you have electricity, you can begin making building materials. This one makes one material, this one makes two materials, this one makes three, so you all together you get three, four, five, six. The recharge time is pretty lengthy though, right? So you can't like spam these out. They do take a while too. This one takes 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. They require, you know, two labor each. But when you do it, you get, I guess, technically free building materials. Now the downside is that it makes a ton of noise and um, it increases your zombie threat, but it also makes the sieges more powerful. It buffs the enemy sieges, but I don't care. Let's just do it anyways. I mean, you know, why not, right? Let's go ahead and do this. So let's schedule some labor. This will grant us, uh, actually, let's schedule this. Meta analysis first. 50% action speed, 50% building speed. So let's do that. And uh, let's go ahead and activate both of these. Hopefully we have the parts for it. We do. So that's going to give us 50% building, 75% building. All right, that's going to bump pump our building speeds up massively. Uh, let's go ahead and just upgrade the workshop. I don't know what I want to put there. Um, I'm probably going to put a gym. I don't see anything wrong with a gym. Uh, let's put one of these here. Like, this base is going to take a bit of effort to build up, but that's perfectly fine with me because I think that uh, it's it's an interesting base. I haven't really sat down to really consider what I would want to build in this base, so I think that's exactly what I'm planning on doing now. It's going to be, I, I, I really want to, you know, I, I remember in the past that I wasn't, I didn't know what to think about this base. It was a really weird base. Um, I feel like, personally, five large facilities is overkill. Uh, I would much rather have four and four, four large, four small. I'm, I actually, I really like three, five small, three large. I feel like that's actually perfect. Mainly because small facilities are really good. There's only two super good large facilities. That'd be the lounge and the trade depot. Um, the field hospital used to be really, really good. It's not as good anymore, unfortunately. But those are the really good ones. Wait, why are you guarding with a shotgun? Guard with, like, guard with an M4. Okay, let me, do we have anyone else who can loot? You can. And, of course, people start mowing the lawn immediately. And I'm on a deadline, too. Like, this, the upcoming stream is coming up soon. Speaking of which, the you definitely want to catch the upcoming Twitch stream. I, I know some people, like, apparently they're a little confused on how Twitch works. Twitch is pretty similar to YouTube. It's just www.twitch.tv instead of youtube.com. And the controls are very similar. You know, if you know how to use a video player and you know how to use, like, a search engine, you, know, you just type in Get Good Fox and you'll find me there. But, like, it... That is where I'm going to be streaming a brand new strategy, and you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be a, it's probably my, it's going to be one of my craziest money strategies ever. There's only one strategy I can think of crazier. I'm going to be trying it next after this strategy. Oh, there we go. We got, we completed that quest, so that was a free amount of money there. That's pretty sweet. But yes, I am going to be doing just the ultra money playthrough. Like, if you want the ultra money method, the, like, basically, like, one method to end all methods, uh, this is going to be an alternate. There, I'm going to present two different strategies. The ultimate money strategy, and, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and let's keep upgrading these. We need a little bit of morale. Or what we could do is build another large facility. What else do I want to build? I'm going to build a field hospital, actually. Yeah. Let's build a field hospital. The reason I want to build a field hospital is because we have a glut of large facilities, but we don't have small facilities. And if I build a field hospital here, then I can replace the officer's quarters with a shooting range. Or we could keep the officer's quarters. Either, either is fine. Oh, we need to refuel. But yes, the mad money strategy is going to be coming up, and then there will be a second mad money, an alternative mad money strategy that will be the Twitch stream after it. Um, I will, pr I might make a condensed version of like the video just to show you how to set it up, 
But like the debut of the strategy is definitely going to be on Twitch. You you will not want to miss it because it's going to be crazy. I at least I hope it's going to be crazy. It could it could also be a fantastic failure. I don't think it will though. Like I'm pretty confident that it's going to be awesome. Okay, let's go grab some more of these rucksacks. Oh, That's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Nope. This will make a great outpost. Thought I parked it a little better. Uh, yep, we are a master of powerhouse. Meaning we can give him the old squisheroni. Oh, so you're gonna let this Plaguear go easy, are you? You're not gonna put up a fight for this one. I see how it is. Well, let's drop this off. Oh, and don't forget, even if you don't catch the Twitch stream live, uh, the streams are saved for like three months, like like 60 days or like 60, so you know, they're saved for some certain amount of time. Like you have plenty of time to catch up on them. Being there live is obviously the best because you get to interact with me. I read your comments, suggest ideas and stuff like that. It's a different experience when you're there live, but oh, looks like they got squisheroni on that. Food. Got any more labor? Nope, we are out of labor. That's fine. Let's keep cleaning up these play guards. Now, I'm not going to kill every one of the play guards in the area just because you know, there's no need. You know, we could just move on to Trumbull Valley. I do have plans to um, group all of these, all of the how good is videos together into another playlist in case people want to refer to them. Uh, people are wondering, will I make more formal guides? I would like to. And now that I'm like completely full-time, that is a little more realistic. I still have to kind of think about where I'm going to get the time to do it because another another part that's true is that like I put a lot of time into making like gameplay videos. And I feel like in order to make guides, I would have to scale back the amount of gameplay videos I'm making. Okay. And it kind of puts me in like a, like a, what is it, like a catch-22 in the sense that, um, yeah, some people want guides, but some people also want gameplay. And, you know, either way, I'm going to make somebody unhappy. And uh, you might say, well, isn't the answer just like, go in beast mode and just doing all of the work? Um, that is hard to do. It, there is no doubt about it. Like, it is hard to just go, like, super, you know, I can go beast mode for a certain amount of time. Well, let me tell you, it catches up to you, though. I'm really praying that that weed whacker going on in the background does not get into the audio. Like, it doesn't seem that loud to me, but at the same time, man, I'm ne I never know. This, this mic can be pretty touchy. In you go. All of this in, too. How are we doing here? So we're almost done with the meta-analysis. Um, actually, like our build speeds are looking pretty impressive, to be completely honest. Um, whatever, let's just install the salvage furnace. I don't care if it's a waste. Another play guard here to clean up. Yeah, we used up a lot of parts, but on the other hand... We, we're gonna have the salvage furnace, so... Designated Trumbull Valley is beneath the baseline target. Citizens are instructed to relocate to area designated Trumbull Valley. Valley. Uh, sorry, folks. Just a little radio malfunction there. Please go about your business. I, I wish you know what would be nice is if. If you beat the full Trumbull Valley storyline to the point where you get the Haven device, I just wish those advertisements would go away. Because, like, that, it's like, it clogs up the radio waves. It's like, oh my god, like, more advertisements. I, I mean, I get it. Undead Labs, they did put more work into Trumbull Valley. It probably is their best map with the most detail. It's got all the quests and everything. But, like, come on. It's getting ridiculous. Mm. 
Man, that is a lot of crap we've thrown in. Not that I'm disappointed. We actually do need ammo as well. So it looks like we do need some resources. Let's see if we can pick up some of these resources we need. Uh, here's a swine and bovine. Apparently we do need food. Oh god, I was hoping not. I, I was hope I was a little worried that we were just going to clip into that whole horde of zombies and just like brutalize the vehicle. But fortunately, that did not happen. All right, so we're looking for just miscellaneous resources. I need to check. Let me see if I've got um Resourcefulness? Oh, yeah. Whatever. I'm just going to quick loot. Okay. I'm impatient. <laughs> impatient. Oh, meta-analysis complete. Excellent. Let's go ahead with the schedule the building. Now, schedule the building should be faster. Yeah, it only takes six and a half minutes instead of ten minutes. That's due to the meta-analysis. I'm done searching this place. Wow, we got really lucky. Not a single search crash. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but still, like, a little surprising. Come on, it's lethal zone. You guys sure you don't want to, like, sneak a few bajillion more zombies in there? Are you, are you sure you don't want to do that? Everyone's like, don't tempt the game, Fox. What are you doing? And it's a feral. Give him the business end of the impaler. Hopefully we can handle Thank you, Twain, for explaining how a vehicle works. That you would use the vehicle to transport the cargo and yourself. Like thank you so much for that insight. This place sucked. There was no food here. What did we get though? Tube of store brand toothpaste. Minty fresh fights cavities. I see. Uh, I was kind of hoping for food, though. I'm just saying. Not to sound like really ingrateful, but I went to this teriyaki barbecue for her, for food, not toothpaste. I would have gone to, like, you know, like a supermarket if I wanted... If I wanted toothpaste. I like it when you can use those as a chain together. That That is kind of satisfying. The problem is that the stamina consumption is just unbelievable. I don't see any Zeds, but that won't last here in plague territory. Good. Oh, there is our search crash. Yeah, it was only a limited amount of time before we could, like, stop getting lucky. And then, of course, no mercy for our inventory. So let's just drop this off. We can come back for it. Oh! <laughs> There's no way for me to wiggle around them. I'm gonna have to go in reverse and plow through. Okay, let's see how our base is coming along. Hopefully we can build another thing. Like, this is such a weird base. I, I am I am genuinely curious about what we can do with this base. Why don't you mind your own business? I said, why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you mind your own business? You! 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 Mind your own business. Throw all that in. Okay. This thing is almost done. Ah, oh, we still basically have no labor. And that's because the this this is like a large... This thing takes... Four, th that thing takes forever to build. And it's also a uh, pretty significant building. Alright, let's hit the Peddler's Barbecue again.
Now, people have been asking, Fox, why are you not playing? Why are you still playing on the beta after the update? The answer is that the beta is still more up to date than the main game. In fact, I suspect it'll be like that forever. So, you should expect me to mainly play on the beta because the beta has all of the forever community updates, but the beta also has the infestation updates. Now, for some reason, the infestation updates have been, in fact, trickling into the main game. Nothing else to find but they're not completely there. I, do, I don't know. Well, I don't know if it's an accident that they are just kind of sneaking into the game, or if Undead Labs is like surreptitiously adding them. Be like, oh, if people don't like them, maybe we'll just add them one by one, and and people will just get used to it over time. Maybe that's what'll happen. I don't know what their angle is. It could be an honest accident, or maybe they're trying to sneak them in. Maybe they're like, you know, they're trying to smuggle the gun in, basically. They're like stripping the gun parts down and smuggling it in piece by piece. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Okay, so we just got some... Okay, no, that's the part-time on the day. There's a food thing over here. Uh, that's it. We're actually two, two... What, we're like two for three for food locations not giving us food? Sounds like a little bit of false. So look how long it's taking. This thing still isn't done, and that's going to make us three food eventually. Now, another reason why all of this enhanced siege difficulty probably won't matter is because you can just destroy all of the infestations, and the enemy won't even be able to get to you anyways. Time to look elsewhere. Okay. Well, I mean... At least we still got a rucksack of food. That's fine. There we go. Build the hospital is done. Um, we got four labor available. I don't know. Let's let's build this. I don't see the harm in that. And then um, schedule building is almost done. Let's let's polish up the vehicle. Vehicle's looking a little bit trashed. Do I have... Nope, roadside assistance not available right now. There is some fuel in this town, that's nice. We can grab the fuel. I mean, overall, there's pretty good stuff in this town, depending on what has already been pre-looted. You would think this place is really good for building materials. Uh, the problem is that this area tends to be rather pre-looted. So, schedule building done. So, now we've got the meta-analysis building speed. And we've got the uh, schedule the building construction better. So that should allow us to build the base at the highest speed. Combined with the... Um, the only way we could do better is if we had, like, uh, better morale. More nosy people. Um, we have six labor. That's awesome. What do I want to do? Let's upgrade this. And let's upgrade that. There we go. Big upgrades right here. Using up, we're using our labor mainly for upgrading rather than setting new buildings. But I don't honestly know what I want to build here. Um, one of these will be a trade depot, that's for sure. I'll need to chill. Let's go. Do we need to change? I don't know if I want to change leaders yet. Now that I think about it. Hmm. What's up, Buttercup? If we change leaders, then I'll have to redo it again. I hate this song. I have to check. Anytime this song plays, I'm like, you know, did somebody die? I just I just don't know. So the action speed improvement should also help with this. Uh, like I said, uh, the, if we had better morale, we could go farther. But, you know, one thing at a time. It's too bad we don't have a white noise machine. We could also activate clean toilets. That would give us uh, 10 more morale. So if you don't know what an officer's quarters does, it gives us two beds. That's, you know, a nice bonus. Privileges of rank, just a permanent 10 bonus on the, um, what do you call it, morale. And then you can activate clean toilets for another 10 morale. And then you also can get a, uh, a white noise machine. So all that together would be like 30 morale, which is really strong from a, a single small facility. But um, once we get this going, we're going to be able to use the, the the movie night. And movie night is going to be really, really good. Let us get our morale at least to the second highest. Either the highest level of morale or at least the second highest. Really, I can't jump up on that? 
Anyways, I think that is good enough for today's episode. Welcome to Lunderguard, everybody. Tomorrow we will be claiming the, the outpost. I got one in reserve for it, just for it. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Wish me luck. This is the beginning of the true full-time YouTube content creation career. Um, I definitely got a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of tr training. Like, I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to buy a few extra courses on uh, video editing and whatnot to really take it. Because, you know, in the event, like, what if this doesn't work out? Um, I guess I would want to go directly into video editing and whatnot because I already have tr practice in it. But uh, I'm hoping, let's, let, let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. P you know, hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's what I always say. But once again, if you want to support the channel, Super thanks, the heart symbol, one-time donation, join channel. Also, like, what, come over to Twitch. I need help on both platforms. Like, I, I, we're doing good on Twitch, but we could be doing better. It's just a different website. It's just www.twitch.tv. Just type in Get Good Fox. Follow me there. You know, uh, I post the schedule on when I'm online. Ba basically, I typically stream 4, 4 p.m. Eastern time. But like I said, if you miss it, you could just swing by and watch the old videos. They're there for quite some time. But I need help on both of the platforms. So any any help is greatly appreciated. But the main thing is that I've got you guys as viewers. That is, like I said, that is ultimately all a content creator can really hope for. Not even ask for. Because you have to prove yourself. You can't even ask for viewers. you got to prove yourself worthy. But thank you very much for staying with Get Good Fox. We'll be making some more State of Decay 2 content, reviewing more stuff, and then doing some wacky playthroughs after this. Like the video if it was entertaining, subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content, and wish me luck, because you don't have to be good to get good.